Well, A.L. Waldman is Chief Executive Officer of Mellanox Technologies. I'm pleased to say he joins us live now from the Tel Aviv Stock Exchange. And so thank you very much for speaking to us. I guess my first question is whether or not you think Mellanox can actually sustain this pace of growth as we head into what could be a, a difficult 2012. You know, uh, like we said uh, before, Mellanox can maintain its growth into 2012 and 2013 because we have a small uh, share of the market we're playing in. So we believe we can continue growing. Uh, the segments we're going to grow in is uh, the Web 2, the cloud, and the storage. So, so uh, and because we have a small share of the markets we can play, we believe we can continue growing in the coming years. The last time we spoke in September, you did talk about the possibility of strategic opportunities for Mellanox. Do you have any more concrete plans when it comes to growth through acquisitions? Uh, you know, there's uh, f continuous flows of companies that we talk to. Uh, there's nothing imminent that we plan, uh, but we may in the future uh, grow through acquisitions. It's not something we need to do in order to grow to the billion dollar revenue we talked about. Well, we may do this to accelerate our growth. I know that you've been benefiting from the growth in data centers. I'm just wondering whether or not that can continue if the economy slows. You know, it's an interesting question, but if you look at the amount of data people continue storing uh, is a growth of exponential growth. And you need more storage systems, you need more compute systems. You know, one of the interesting things about all this data is the big data problem. People have so much data to analyze, to get conclusions out of. So you need more computing power, and you need to do it faster. So this big data problem with a lot of entities in different various markets are looking into accelerate the growth of need for both compute and storage systems. Could the company perhaps do some cost cutting in the next year? Should we see a deteriorating economic investment environment? You know, we continue to invest in our future. Uh, about 30-something percent of our revenues go back into R&D. Uh, and there's so ma many things we can do. We don't have enough resources to do that. So I think we'll continue growing and continue to grow our investments in R&D and uh, other OPEX elements in Mellanox. Talk At the same time, we're focusing on the bottom line. So we'd like to grow the bottom line as well. So we maintain our OPEX growth smaller than our top line, our revenue growth. What about obstacles or, or perhaps challenges? I'm thinking about the impact of the delayed launch of Intel's Romley chip on Mellanox. Yeah, you know, uh, people talked about that, and it's a good question. Uh, but in fact, we've already sold for revenues in Q3, and Intel announced that in supercomputing 2011 uh, in Seattle that we've already shipped uh, Romley-based uh, supercomputers, one that's public is Purdue University. So we're already shipping with Romley and PCI Express Gen 3, and we expect to see more growth when Intel releases this to general availability in Q1, 2012. Well, thank you very much, Andy. Elvalman Malinox, CEO. Good to talk to you.